this is spinning perfectly. I don't think the fish will be in the current, but you just never know, so I'll give it a shot. Oh, here comes the Oh, check that out. Right in front of me. Are we hooked up right now? Yes, we are. Into a giant. How's it going today, everyone? Creek Crawler here. Southeast Ohio, I am on the Hocking River. It is December 5th, and we're going after some cold water smallies. I'm gonna throw a couple techniques today. We're gonna do some jerk bait fishing, really slow pauses, light twitches, suspending jerk baits right there in the water column to where those smallmouth that are sitting deeper in these pockets, they're not exerting a lot of energy to chase bait, but if you get a jerk bait in the right position at the right time and let that thing just sit there suspended in the water, the smallmouth will come up and nip at it. So very slow jerk bait presentations. We're also going to be throwing the Nico Helgramite, the Nico leeches, some bottom techniques, slow dragging along the bottom, really slow. Remember these fish, this water's cold. We got an awesome day here in December. It's 43, 45 degrees. It's supposed to hit 50. So we're going to have an awesome, awesome day. I got my waders on the waters, probably approaching that same temperature, probably low forties is the water temp, but the key is slow. Slow, slow, slow. So I'm probably going to cut some of my retrieves down in the edit because some of my retrieves are probably going to take a few minutes to bring in. But hopefully we can get some smallmouth in December. I can't wait. Stay tuned for the action. Let's see if we can't catch some fish today, guys. Let's go. All right, a quick gear check before we get started today on this beautiful December day. 45 degrees. It's going to hit 50. Got my 610 medium extra fast on my 2500 Iowa Kage. 10-pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 in moonshine color. High-vis braid. Um, I got it down to a eight pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, I'm going light. I'm going light. These fish are really picky. Um, it's the winter time. So we need to downsize our line, make it, make it to where when they see this jerk bait, there's nothing in their mind that says, Hey, I don't want to eat that. So I went with the eight pound fluorocarbon. This is the Rapala Shadow Wrap 09, slow rising, slow rising. So I'm going to jerk this down to depth, which hits about four feet. And most of the spots I'll be fishing is around six got some rattles hopefully it'll bring some fish up from the depths but just letting this thing slow rise and hopefully that's where we'll get most of our action today all righty we're rolling up on the first spot let's see if we can't get some cold water smallies today with the jerk bait and some ned presentations figured out pretty fast the slow rising is not going to work so i'm going to switch over to one of my little mega bass x70 minnows it's a suspending jerk bait and it's a really small profile which like i said in the beginning you want to you want to downsize your profiles you want to get small you want to get natural because the water is super clear gin clear so i'm going with the little silver minnow with orange belly um this is the x70 i believe yeah x70 we'll give this a shot too because this dives around three or four feet which would be perfect for this situation all right let's go over the retrieve method i'll be using when i'm throwing this little jerk bait so once i cast it out i want to get it down to depth so i do a couple hard jerks get it down there this bait sits around three and a half four feet which is perfect for this area it doesn't get too much deeper maybe six seven feet in some of the spots but get it down keep your line tight with your jerk bait the whole time i need to keep that line tight so when you feel them smallies come up and just real quick inhale them you can see that line pop and you'll be able to hook set but keep your line tight i, I reel it nice and slow then we'll give it another jerk just like that and that bait's just sitting there in the water column i can see it actually just sitting there Oh, I just see a bass. I seen a bass. Let that bait sit there. Let the water current move it around naturally. It's just an injured bait fish, a really cold bait fish. Doesn't have a lot of energy to move. And we're just matching the hatch around here. All these little minnows and shiners are around three to four inches. I'm letting this bait just get drifted with the current, keeping my line tight. Give a little twitch. Just let it sit there. Yeah, this is spinning perfectly. I don't think the fish will be in the current, but you just never know, so we'll give it a shot. Oh, here comes Smalley. Oh, check that out. Right in front of me, hitting it dead stick. That was awesome. Heck yes. He came from the depths, guys. He came all the way into the shallow water to get that jerk bait. Oh, oh, he's got my, he's got me, he's got me, he's got me with the hook. He's got me with the hook. 
He got me with the hook. Son of a. Oh, that doesn't feel good. I got it out. I got it out. Sweet. Well, check it out. My first December smallie on the little Mega Bass jerk bait. It's a decent one, too. It's probably 11 inches or so. Beautiful winter specimen. Oh, that hurt my finger. I pulled it out, though. All right, let's get a release on this guy. Came up and absolutely T-boned that little jerk bait right in front of us. That was awesome. Man, that's so cool to catch fish in December. Thanks for playing today, buddy. There he goes. Let's go. We're gonna move locations from the first hole. Got that one nice little smallie there on the jerk bait. We're gonna head upstream and find another deep hole. Maybe throw the Helger mite. We'll throw the jerk bait too, but let's see if we can't get any more fish. While we're on our way to the next spot, I want y'all to tell me what was your favorite, if you watched the channel a lot, what was one of your favorite videos I made this year in 2021 as we head into 2022. Some big thanks for me. My wife just had our daughter, Maisie. We're excited for that. Healthy, beautiful baby, seven pound, nine ouncer. Awesome gift, an awesome gift, a blessing. But I'm going back to school in the spring of 2022 to pursue my career in outdoor education and recreation. It's my passion, it's what I love to do. That's why I come out here and make videos for people to watch, enjoy, and learn from. So hopefully they can come out and recreate and take advantage of this beautiful resource that we have that at the end of the day really heals the mind, body, and soul, in my opinion. It's one of the best ways to enjoy the outdoors. But yeah, tell me one of your favorite videos I made this year in the comments as I'm on my way to the next spot. Before we hit this next hole up, I want to remind everyone I'll be doing a 4,000 subscriber giveaway on the channel. It's going to be huge. Nico's throwing a lot of stuff in. I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff in. Um, but it's just something to say thank you for all my viewers and subscribers over the past couple years. It's a huge milestone for making content on YouTube. And for me, I mean 4,000 is a lot to me. And it means a lot that y'all are watching and enjoying my content as I grow. And as I become a better angler, I'll be telling you right now, I'm not the best angler by no means. I'm just your average average person down here just trying to create some videos for people to watch and learn along the way. For example, I've got this braid tied on and I've only been using braid for the past year. And I'm growing along. I'm growing as an angler too as I create videos and learn from mistakes and such. So yeah, 4,000 subscriber giveaway. Hopefully we can get it done by 2022 or early spring so I can send out the awesome package I got together. And I'll show that here on my Instagram here soon or uh, on my channel as well. I'll, I'll show you everything I'll be putting in the giveaway. It's gonna be awesome. I waited about a mile upstream. We're at our next location. Hopefully there's some smallies holding in this deep hole up here. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on here. I've been fishing with the jerk bait for about 20 30 minutes 25 minutes or so in this spot so we'll get we'll uh, switch it up and see if we can't catch them on the helgramite or the leech we got the old trusty helgramite on the ewg ned style head let's toss this in the deeper water and drag it around see what happens Are we hooked up right now? Yes, we are. Into a giant. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. No. No. 
no way that just happened. I horsed him. A freaking tank, Smalley. Oh my goodness. Oh, my heart's <laughs> crushed right now. I was horsing him too much, guys. That was every, every bit of 18, 19 inches long. I can't believe it. I'm about to cry. It's December 5th, 40 to 43 degrees out, 45 degrees. Dragging this Helgramite and he ate it. That was a monster. Wow. Okay, we gave the Helgramite 30 minutes, hooked into that absolute giant smallmouth. And believe me when I tell y'all, I'm sick. My stomach is in knots, honestly. I cannot believe I just lost that fish. But we're going to throw the Nico leech in the same hole. Um, this is the obsidian, and this is um, Venom Lures EWG Ned style jig head i got paired up with it just a light presentation i extended my leader to like a three foot leader three and a half foot we're gonna give it a shot in this deep hole and see if we can't come out with one. Oh man i hope we can catch another one i'd like to catch at least one more fish today i mean you can't ask for much with where we are in the year it's we're late we're early december water temps hovering around 42 degrees probably 43 and i lost I, it was over 18 inches. I, it come up to the surface, rolled really, real slow roll. He pops off and the smallmouth was sitting below the surface, just sitting there. And I'm sitting here looking at it and he just slowly swims away. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. But let's keep going. We got another hour or so of daylight. Let's see if we can't pick one up. Oh, we were just hooked up. We were just hooked up. No way. On the fall. What? I think I found out what just hit the leech. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there are scratches all the way down. Like two thirds of this leech. It looks like maybe a catfish grabbed it. Because it's like... I don't know. It could have been a bass too. They got sandpaper mouse. But he just shredded this leech all the way down. I must have not gave him enough time because it, it starts right here where the shank of the hook is, unfortunately. We're going to call it down here in the Hocking River. I know this is a short video, but it's December 5th. <laughs> the water temps are in the low 40s. It's a tough day to get bites on the river, and I got, I caught a fish on the jerkbait, the little Mega Bass X70 suspending jerkbait. That was awesome. 11, 11 and a half, pushing 12 inches. It was a nice little fish hit right near, right near the bank. I had that lure suspended, and I was just sitting there looking at it, and I see something come out of the depths, and I was like, oh goodness, come up and just T-boned it. Awesome catch, but my stomach is in complete knots right now. I cannot believe the fish I hooked on the Helgramite. That was a giant Hocking River smallmouth. It was 19 inches plus, 18 and a half, 19 inches plus. It was just an absolute toad. And I can't believe I lost it. Ugh. I, I'm, I'm posting this video for a couple reasons. One is that you can catch fish in the winter time. Especially when we're having days like this in December when it's 40, 50 degrees, it was 55 degrees of prior prior day to this went out and did some fishing for trout in the creek and had an awesome time but yeah there's a couple reasons you can catch fish in the cold water jerk baits slow presentations painfully slow painfully slow presentations um, just dragging your Ned whatever you want to put on the net I was throwing the leech the leech got hit 
I don't know what this was, but it absolutely tore the crap out of the plastic on this leech. I want to say it was a big channel cat or something, but I don't know. It's You can speculate all you want. I hooked up with him for just a second or two and it popped off. And that's the thing. I don't. I just these winter fish when they hit the, it, the the bite is so subtle, and if if they don't get the hook in their mouth, it's just gonna come off, just like that smallmouth did. And it was a it was a freaking shame. I can't believe I lost that fish. It was so big, but he ate the helgramite. Ate the helgramite on bottom, and I thought I had a log. I 100% thought I hooked into like a tree branch or something. It was coming at me from side to side. And obviously that's head shakes. I don't do a lot of winter fishing, so I wasn't used to just reeling in dead weight that was going side to side like that. And I was just, when he came up to the surface and swirled, I was like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. So that's the couple reasons why we're doing it. You can catch fish in cold water. Don't get discouraged by cold weather. Wear some waders. And like I said, today was in the mid forties. It's getting cooler now. As soon as that sun goes down and gets cold in a heartbeat, but go out there and try it in the winter time. You'll never know. Obviously, I wish I would have landed that fish. It would have, it would have been awesome, complete awesome day if I would have got that fish. But I caught one fish today, and I'll be I'm happy with that. I hope you learned a couple things along the way. If you want to get yourself some Waterland shades, I'll put their website down in the description. If you want to get yourself some Nico baits, I'll put their website down in the description. You can use Crawler 15 on Waterland's website. You can use Crawler 10 on Nico Bait's website. Save 10% on Nico's, 15% on Waterland sunglasses, which are a vital piece of my equipment that I take out in the field with me. I have to have polarized lenses. Just just today was a great example. I was sitting there right at the bank, just letting that jerkbait sit right off the bank, and I was sitting there watching it, and I was able to see that smallmouth come up and just stare at it, and he was nose to it for like a second or two, and I was able to sit there and just let him react and eat that bait right in front of me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!